Okay, over here on the left, we have the graph of x equals y to the 6, which is this curve right here. The boundary y equals 1 and the boundary x equals 0. So we're rotating this region right here around the line y equals 1, the axis of revolution. And then you have your choice of using the shell method, which is most straightforward for this problem, or the disk method. It's not the washer method because one of the boundaries is actually the axis of revolution. So when you're using the shell method, it's 2 pi times the definite integral from A to B of the height of the shell times the average radius. And the average radius is the, the distance from the axis of revolution to the center of a typical shell. So this red line here represents one of the typical infinitely many shells that we're going to be looking at. And the height of that shell, since this is a horizontal segment, is the x-coordinate at the right minus the x-coordinate at the left, which is this y to the sixth minus zero. The average radius is this distance right here. <clears throat> and that, for every y between 0 and 1, is the y-coordinate at the top, which this is the line y equals 1. So the y-coordinate is always 1. And at, for this point right here, and this little distance right here is uh, y, because we're going from the x-axis up to here. <clears throat> so 1 minus y will give us this distance right here. And that's the average radius. So to actually evaluate that, you have to distribute the y to the 6th. You get y to the 6th minus y to the 7th. I won't take you through all of this. Uh, definite integral from 0 to 1. And that's this one right here. We, we got all these shells piling up from zero all the way up to one. And the ant this would be dy. So the antiderivative would be one seventh y to the seventh minus one eighth y to the eighth. Evaluated from zero to one. And whatever you get for that, multiply by 2 pi. Okay, and that's where this pi over 28 comes from, <clears throat> which is the exact value of the volume of revolution. Now, if you're going to use the disk method, uh, you're using this formula right here, where the radius is the distance from the axis of revolution out to here. Well, we're, we're given x equals y to the sixth, but we want this distance <clears throat> in terms of y, uh, x. So if I take the 6 through to both sides, y equals x to the 1 sixth. So the y coordinate at the bottom of this radius is x to the 6th. The y coordinate at the top is 1. So this distance can be represented by 1 minus x to the 1 sixth pi r squared. <coughs> Excuse me. So we'd have to square this binomial. 1 minus 2 x to the 1 sixth plus the second term squared would be x to the 1 third. Take the antiderivative of that would be x minus raise the exponent by 1 would give us 7 6 multiplied by the reciprocal of the new exponent would be 6 7 plus raise the exponent by 1 4 thirds multiplied by the reciprocal of the new exponent. Evaluate that from 0 to 1. And by the way, that 1 is this one right here. We're piling up these radii from 0 to 1. 
along the x-axis. And then we'd have to multiply all that by pi. We would get the same answer. You can verify that. There you go. Hope that cleared some stuff up for you. If you have any questions, post a comment.